What is the correct action when a patient begins to feel faint during a blood draw? A. Remove the needle and lay the patient flat. B. Continue drawing blood quickly. C. Offer the patient water. D. Tell them to sit quietly until it passes. Answer A. If a patient faints or feels faint, stop the procedure, remove the needle, and lay them down to prevent injury. A medical assistant should place a patient in which position for a pap smear? A. Prone. B. Supine. C. Lithotomy. D. Fowler's. Answer C. The lithotomy position provides access to the pelvic area and is used during gynecological exams like pap smears. What is the appropriate needle angle for an intradermal injection? A. 90 degrees. B. 45 degrees. C. 30 degrees. D. 15 degrees. Answer D. Intradermal injections should be given at a 15 degree angle to ensure the medication is deposited just under the skin. Which of the following should a medical assistant verify prior to a patient's surgery? A. Marital status. B. Preauthorization from insurance. C. Number of previous surgeries. D. Weight loss goals. Answer B. Insurance preauthorization is often required before surgery to ensure coverage. What is the purpose of a differential white blood cell count? A. Detect anemia. B. Assess blood sugar levels. C. Measure oxygen saturation. D. Identify types of white blood cells. Answer D. A differential WBC count helps identify the proportion of various white blood cells to aid in diagnosis. When a provider is running late, what should the MA do first? A. Cancel all appointments. B. Tell patients to reschedule. C. Inform patients and offer options. D. Ignore the delay. Answer C. Good communication includes informing patients of delays and offering options like waiting or rescheduling. Which of the following is a symptom of insulin shock, hypoglycemia? A. Slow pulse. B. Dry mouth. C. Cold, clammy skin. D. Deep, labored breathing. Answer. C. Hypoglycemia can cause cold, clammy skin, confusion, and shakiness. The purpose of a modifier in CPT coding is to A. Identify the diagnosis. B. Indicate a pricing change. C. Provide additional information about a service. D. Replace an outdated code. Answer. C. Modifiers provide extra details such as service complexity or specific circumstances. A hematocrit test is used to evaluate A. Blood glucose levels B. Platelet function C. Red blood cell volume D. Liver enzyme levels Answer C. Hematocrit measures the percentage of red blood cells in the blood. What is the most accurate method for identifying a patient? A. Name and address. B. Date of birth and ID wristband. C. Insurance card. D. Verbal confirmation only. Answer. B. Using two identifiers like DOB and ID band is safest and follows protocol. What is the purpose of OSHA in the healthcare workplace? A. Manage billing codes. B. Protect patient data. C. Ensure workplace safety. D. Provide malpractice insurance. Answer. C. OSHA sets and enforces standards to ensure safe working environments. When collecting a urine sample for drug screening, what step is essential? A. Ask the patient to drink water first. B. Use a clean catch container. 
C. Apply a chain of custody. D. Allow the patient to take the cup home. Answer. C. A chain of custody ensures the integrity of a drug screen sample. Which EKG lead is known as the ground lead? A. RA. B. LA. C. RL. D. LL. Answer. C. The right leg, RL, electrode serves as the ground to reduce electrical interference. How long must sterilization logs be maintained in a clinical office? A. 6 months. B. 1 year. C. 3 years. D. 5 years. Answer. C. Logs related to sterilization and maintenance must often be kept for at least three years depending on regulations. Which of the following is included in a SOAP Notes O section? A. Patient's description of symptoms. B. Provider's assessment. C. Physical findings and test results. D. Follow-up instructions. Answer. C. O stands for objective, including physical exams, lab results, and vital signs. Which medication route is absorbed most quickly? A. Oral. B. Rectal. C. Intramuscular. D. Intravenous. Answer. D. For medications are delivered directly into the bloodstream for immediate effect. What instrument is used to measure intraocular pressure? A. Otoscope. B. Tonometer. C. Sphygmomanometer. D. Ophthalmoscope. Answer. B. A tonometer measures eye pressure to screen for glaucoma. How often should a biological indicator be used to test the effectiveness of autoclaving? A. Monthly. B. Daily. C. Weekly. D. Yearly. Answer. C. Weekly testing with a biological indicator is recommended to ensure sterilization effectiveness. Which of the following is a common site for an intramuscular injection in an adult? A. Deltoid. B. Abdomen. C. Scapula. D. Forearm. Answer. A. The deltoid is a common IM injection site for small volumes in adults. What should a medical assistant do if a patient refuses treatment? A. Call security. B. Notify the provider and document the refusal. C. Attempt to force treatment. D. Ignore and move on. Answer. B. Patient autonomy must be respected, document refusal and notify the provider. What color tube is used for a complete blood count, CBC? A. Blue. B. Green. C. Red. D. Lavender. Answer. D. A lavender top tube with EDTA is used for CBCs. Which of the following is a sign of infection at a venipuncture site? A. Slight bruising. B. Pain and warmth. C. Immediate bleeding. D. None of the above. Answer. B. Redness, warmth, and pain can indicate infection at the puncture site. Which of the following is an open-ended question appropriate for a patient interview? A. Are you taking your medications? B. Do you have a headache? C. How are you feeling today? D. You feel better now, right? Answer. C. Open-ended questions encourage detailed responses from the patient. Which procedure requires sterile gloves? A. Taking blood pressure. B. Changing a surgical dressing. C. Performing an EKG. D. Administering a flu shot. Answer. B. Surgical wound care requires sterile technique to prevent infection.
What action should a medical assistant take when handling a blood sample that will be sent to a lab? A. Shake the tube vigorously. B. Store at room temperature unless instructed. C. Label it after leaving the room. D. Place it in a plain envelope. Answer, B. Unless instructed otherwise, store at room temperature and label immediately in the patient's presence.